I, I'm not sure that he really needs an introduction, but does anybody <laughs> not know Burned? Okay, so uh, Burned is here tonight to talk about healing devices, and he has a whole slew. Um, he goes back to the Frankenstein movie days where you plug everybody in, so we're going to look for volunteers a little bit later so he can plug you into the whole <laughs> equation. But uh, Burned is a longtime member and uh, one of our technical guys here. So, everybody, welcome Burn Freelander. Matter of fact, um, Frankenstein was my uncle, and he changed the name, uh, my Aunt great, great, great uncle, so we changed the name because he had a bad reputation in Germany. <laughs> so, am I, can you hear me? Yes. All right. I forgot what I'm going to speak about. <laughs> um, <laughs> We all do a lot of answering questions. Healing devices. I don't know if they really work. No. Um, you know, how I got into it, uh, going back as a physical therapist, we use devices in treating patients all the time. And uh, the diet, diapulse, myopulse, diathermy, you know, it helps to accelerate the response to healing. That's what it is. Um, and then, in you know, I... Luckily, I was involved, you know, in, in, this, in the 80s, after I got my chiropractic degree, I was uh, uh, hired by UCLA and, and I worked at, in sports medicine research in developing the Olympics uh, and also training the Olympics in both using energy medicine and nutrition. And through my work with athletes, I was always bombarded by Phenomenal scientists, really. I mean, and that's who I learned from, you know, scientists, because I'm not a scientist, I'm not an engineer. I just grab to them and I develop a sponge to, to knowledge, you know, and that's who I am. And working with, you know, Olympic athletes and some of the best in the world, and then getting involved with the Raiders, Rams, the Lakers, Clippers, San Diego Chargers, um, that also helped to bring other great inventors and scientists towards me, allowing me to use devices. And some of these devices were extraordinary. You know, Guy Manners, who knows Guy Manners? So, uh, using wave, sound waves, right? Um, and we used the original technology for sound wave with Guy Manners. And then one of my interests was I became friends with Stephen Laverne Ross, one of the greatest organizations I have ever came across besides Edgar Casey, where I worked a lot with, and that's how I got into all this. If you look at the level, I mean, it's like something with Edgar Casey and the foundation in Phoenix, Arizona was looking at how instruments work. And Steve and Laverne Ross at the World Research Foundation. And one day, I hear a phenomenal radio talk show, with a, um, and they were interviewed about Rife. This was in the late 70s, early 80s. And how many know about Rife's work? Rife? Rife, 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 R-I-F-E. Royal Rife, 1900s, 20s, 30s. Well, what? They were, I didn't know anything about Rife, but I've known about a technology and using it. And what got me stimulated is what they said on the radio about Rife and how he cured cancer by stimulating with a, a form of light. And, you know, and how certain frequency, but it was much more than that. He used a microscope. He can determine through a microscope it, uh, the form of bacteria it is, or virus, or something, and then he would use a plasma field to detect what field and what wavelength and what frequencies was the right frequency to address the bacteria and knock it out. So he had numerous, uh, if you can go on to, uh, uh, and, and Google right because there's so much I can tell you about. And the documentation was that every cancer patient they worked in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s completely recovered from cancer. Completely. Okay? And the problem was the head of the FDA then uh, wanted to control the device for the monetary purpose of only allowing those who can afford it, the rich. 
Reif was not into that. He wanted to service everyone. If you had no money, you don't pay. And the technology basically is something that I had the original one in the original microscope. I was given it by not only the uh, World Research Foundation, but the family of Reif. And they actually gave it to me, and I stupidly enough told somebody about it. And if you know a guy named Tom and Ken Murdoch, they own Murdoch Pharmaceutical in Nature's Way. And Tom owned and started the company, and his son Ken now uh, sold the company, and Nature's Way is one of the big you know, nutraceutical companies. But Murdoch Pharmaceutical was into everything then. And Tom went down there and told him that he's representing me, and from the woman who, uh, Rife's mistress, 80-year-old woman, gave to him the Rife device, and he shipped it to Utah, and during the shipping, he didn't really package it well, and the whole thing broke, and it's sitting up there now. But I had another device, so we knew exactly how it works, and then we donated it to a major university for research, and only for pain and inflammation, nothing else. And if you understand the mechanism of Rife was basically the fundamental of light. Really, it's light. I, uh, because I discovered the plasma that he was using was in the helium neon, which is in the same nanometer wavelength of red infrared light. And even going back to orange. So you're covering the spectrum of the human body. The cell resonates at those frequencies, which is what the sun is giving you every day if you ever go out there. Basically, that's what it is. What it is, what he did differently was he was he had an enormous microscope, and that was itself an art. I could never, I've never seen anything. The microscope was from here to here. It was that it was quartz crystal, and one crystal quartz we had to buy from Germany at $100,000. So none of the group that I worked with, Tom Bedini and all those, ever had enough money to recover the microscope because it was a two, three, four, five million dollar microscope. But that's how he identified what frequency. So that's an important thing. And most people didn't realize that he never exposed you more than 30 to 90 seconds. And today everybody calls me, I got the right device. I said, oh, I'm using it for an hour, two hours, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. No, you are overexposing. Less is better. And that's a term you have to understand. Less is better. More is not good. He discovered that the right timing of the right helium uh, neon, uh, he used mostly helium, that's the secret, was the right timing of the person inducing this field with the right frequencies was really important because a Hertzheimer reaction could occur. So 30 seconds every three to four days, then 60 seconds every three to four days, then 90 seconds, and within that period of time, cancer was gone. He never lost one patient. And it's written in, in scientific journals today. Uh, so uh, nobody's really duplicated when I hear about somebody say they got the right. I know they don't, because I, nobody was able to show. Now, we did duplicate Rife's work with uh, Valerie, uh, Valerie Hunt. Anybody knows Valerie Hunt? Okay, she's, she worked with us. Uh, I did a lot of intuitive work with her, and she trained me in a lot of ways. So she's a special woman. Hans Becker was about the closest person we contacted to re reproduce his device. Hans is one of the most brilliant scientists I've ever come across. Half, I can't even understand one-eighth of what he says. That's how brilliant it is. So going into that, what I was also approached by people that were developing uh, life therapy devices. And one fellow that really drew me a lot was a San Jose State scientist professor in the engineering department. He drove all the way down to UCLA to my office on Santa Monica, and he dropped off all these equipment, these uh, light devices, equipment like this, but different, not connected to this. And what he did was, um, it was an infrared device. So the first person I used it on was Howie Long, and he had knee injuries, and something else was happening in his low back, so we trained. 
We use the device for a certain period of time, and we cor uh, we found the right frequencies, and we found the right uh, watts and milliwatts and all that, and we found one or two or three treatments back to normal. And like I said, you can use this on your eyes, and it helps stimulate. What basically light does, it stimulates cytochrome oxidase C, which is a major molecule of mitochondria energy. It, 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 it is the right frequency and energy frequency of the mitochondria. And what did I say about the mitochondria? You've got to work with the mitochondria before you can do anything else. And my talk on the New Living Expo is going to be all about how exciting mitochondria works and how we can stimulate it. So that's going to be at 12 o'clock on Saturday, and then we have the anti-aging panel where Dr. T and Richard Cunyon, Len Saput is going to be there, and Eric Sarminski on ozone and rectal ozone, which we he's not going to talk about <laughs> because he's going to get in trouble. But I will. I think it's one of the greatest things we can do today. So this is one of the things. So I, I like to do simple things, okay? And what I do with everyone when I was in practice, I stimulated certain areas of the body. And the first area I, I, I want to find out is how's your thyroid? Because if your thyroid's not functioning, nothing else is going to function. So I would put this over the thyroid for about 15 seconds and stimulated it, and that's it. And then the thymus, okay, is a great area. To, uh, uh, you got the liver, and you got the stomach, and here's the aorta, the, the major blood vessel to the the whole body, right? The, what's the vessel right in the belly button, right behind, besides the baby? The aortic valve, right? The artery. So you can stimulate that, and we also use it for knee injuries and all that, so we used it for everything. And then I programmed certain frequencies on there, and I'll tell you the secret to all frequencies. Once you understand this, the heart. How many know? The heart is the foundation of all living things, right? It pumps at a certain vibrational force and pack, and it's stimulated by a certain frequency. If you know about the heart mass, it is 1.14 hertz. That is the ideal frequency of the heart. And the harmonics are in the lower range. If you go lower than 1.14 hertz, that means it takes one and a quarter cycles for one, uh, for one waveform to complete itself in one second. Nogé is a, an incredible individual out of France who I studied with in using Nogé's frequencies, and all of the genetics in our body are based on Nogé's frequencies. Everything I've developed was based on Nogé's frequencies plus the heart. The combination is phenomenal. Guess what Nogé did? He took 1.14 and doubled it, 2.28. 4.56, and it goes on and on, and then he used the higher forms of frequencies to treat the body, which you can, as long as you stay in that 1.14. That's the secret, that 1.14. That's where I got regeneration, recovery with everybody. Um, so we, that is a phenomenal instrument, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to get an infrared device. We're going to be producing some. You have one that has magnetics in infrared. See, I've always been into magnetics, and I've always been in infrared, because that's what the human body really is. Light and magnetics. Light and magnetics, okay? Um, about the late, mid-80s, you know, again, I got introduced to uh, many different forms of healing devices. As a matter of fact, if you know how to use your hands, how many of you knows how to heal with your hands? You can put your, your left hand, which is the calming, the negative. This is the positive on most people. Not everybody. Some people are reversed. If you're reversed, you don't belong to planet Earth. We're going to have to ship you to another planet, which is coming down in a short while, so we can then you can be on that polarity. You can put your hand over something and it calms it down and it heals it. You can do this, or you can do this. And I do that myself every day. I heal myself. I also take the palms of my hands. You want to keep your eyes functioning for a long time without using uh, contact lenses? Take the palm of your hand, 
Put it on your, uh, on your slightly pressing on the eye. Hold it there for a hundred seconds. A hundred seconds. Every day, twice a day, and tell me if you don't change your eyesight. And then I also teach exercise for eyesight, which you look up here, you look down, you do it five times this way, five times this way, and then you do circular, and then you're um, good to go, you don't need any glasses. So everybody, please give me your glasses, put it right here, I want you to go home without your glasses today, because you learn the fountain of youth by these exercises. So this is easy. I have a woman that's in her 70s, she has 20-20 vision, and this is what did it, okay? Besides having three operations. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Okay, so let's go into more devices. Okay, one of my favorite things is occasionally you see a fellow come here, and the guy who built your device is Joseph Guido. Now, yes, he is part of the Italian um, gangster family, but don't worry about it. He's retired, and, and he became an engineer. <laughs> so let me plug this in. Okay, this is another device. Okay, Joseph Guido, about, uh, well, how I, I, I came across you, a, 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 a wonderful, engineer guy, but he's a contractor, electrical content. I was introduced in the 90s and 2000, and if you go on my website, you'll see Climbing Sun. I know it's rare to have a name Climbing Sun. He's a phenomenal guy, I'm gonna tell you right now. He's an architectural genius. The state of, uh, all, he does all of Santa Cruz, Aptos. He gets called all over the world to do architectural uh, uh, work and construction work, you know, and he came to me because of Joseph's mother, who was in her 70s, who had hip degeneration and disc degeneration, and she was supposed to have surgery, surgery. So I decided, let's do something. At that time, I had a right device, that time, this is ancient, and then I put everybody on that to clean the body. Okay, then I use light therapy, infrared. Then I had a fellow design a product for me by the name of Dave Malone, and there was a guy named McGee. He was an MD. McGee was <coughs> an extraordinary MD. He was an orthopedic doctor who totally devoted his whole work on light therapy energy. And I met him in my office we developed a relationship and he connected me to a guy and I had an idea, and I'll tell you how this idea came to him, was developing a magnetic field at a very low Tesla Pico Gauss. Now look up Tesla Pico Gauss because that's the secret of magnetic fields. It's not the two hertz, the, uh, the high harmonic of the high gauss. That's actually not good for you. It actually can accelerate cancer or do other harm. And how I learned this, if you're familiar with Northern Stern, how many know about Northern Stern? He's a, he was, how many know who developed radiology? X-ray, Northern Stern. Yeah, but if you know about his work at Cleveland uh, College, he, he went to the Cleveland Cancer, Philadelphia Cleveland Cancer Institute and started probing uh, electrodes into tumor cells, positive and a negative. I mean negative and a positive outside of the tumor and he completely eradicated liver cancer based on using silver electrodes. Look him up, Nordstrom. And he's in China. he was invited to open up 30 clinics in China the only country that allowed him to come in. Nobody else wanted him to do this. So what happened was, there's a guy named Jerry Jacobson. Jerry Jacobson is a brilliant scientist. He's a theoretical physicist from Florida. And I developed a very close relationship with him. And he 
introduced me the low wave frequencies and Pico Tesla Gauss. There's a guy named uh, San, uh, Sandik, S-A-N-D-K, look him up. He's treating people with dementia, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's using uh, Tesla Pico Gauss magnetic fields, Sandik. There's a guy in Greece named Agnes, Agnes, A-N-I-O-S, look him up. Uh, another fellow I worked with. Jerry identified the genetic code of our body in the magnetic fields. And I have all this paperwork. And I started designing concepts based on Jerry Jacobson's work. And then taking it, the uh, Norget's frequency in the heart, and I incorporated magnetic fields based on that. This pack was the one that we used on Joseph Guido's mother with the disc and the hip. And it totally, in three to six months, she recovered. I can't duplicate this pack because the fellow who developed it has sort of retired from this and is only into light therapy. But I'm going to show you something. This produces both a magnetic and light therapy at the same time. So you're getting both concepts. The one I built for Joseph's uh, mother and the one I built for a climbing son. And if you go into my website, drburnfreeland.com, go into testimonial, look up climbing son. He's got the most fascinating testimonial you'll ever see. And he's the one that I would have to be most impressed on because of what he did. Oh, climbing sun. Like climbing. You know, you climb up. S-U-N. He's an architectural, and he was supposed to come tonight, but he's designing some uh, some plans for the Aptus, um, I don't know, uh, up in Aptus. So what we did, we developed a unit like this, and one day I'll bring the other unit. This is a magnetic field. It's a, it, it's a figure eight magnetic field. The reason I had some concept about figure eights, and I use Pico Tesla Pico Gauss. You cannot even test these Gauss. That's how low they are. They're not testable. You need uh, instruments that, uh, you know, only uh, certain universities can do that. And we apply this, and he did it religiously with collagen. He has the whole program on, his, on our website, exactly how he did everything, what he took. He came to me from Stanford and SAR, S-A-R. You know the group SAR? Are you familiar with this? organization of orthopedic doctors that are the brain of, they're like a brain think tank. They're all over, called SAR, S-A-R, look them up. Uh, professional teams use them. They're brilliant orthopedic doctors that look at your MRI, x-ray, and determine what's going on and see what solution is to your problem. The solution that the SAR group and the Stanford group, total replacement of hip, yet no hip left. And if you want to, you can Google him and see if you can find his name and email him and he'll get back to you. He completely, in one year, completely recovered from ever having a, a hip replacement. Joseph's mother completely recovered and other people like that completely recovered. And the key was that understanding was the, it was the, 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 the figure eight of the magnetic field and the gauss and the Noje frequencies in the lower end, okay? Now, that's this device. Then, another device I use a lot, and I treat myself almost every day with these devices, because I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna beat him in, in getting old, so I'm gonna be here to about a 350 so I can have hot and sour soup with you. <laughs> and so, another device I, really love and seen amazing results is using a pad that has stainless steel fields. These are electrodes developed by Wayne Gutterman, another friend of mine, a personal friend who was my patient who recovered and his wife recovered and he devoted his life to building me equipment like this and this. And this device puts out an electrical energy. And what I do is I then plug these things because I know intuitively what frequencies I need. 
And with my cancer patients, I meet with them and they have these devices, I have to intuitively figure out what their frequencies are. And they're doing really well. I have people 20 to 25 years still alive. And I was telling this in dinner, some of the people I'm working with, like Alan Gutman, who is 25 years, still surviving cancer here, and liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, brain cancer, you name it. This is simple. I just tell you to get one of these, or I'll get it for you. I program 0.08. How many understand what that frequency does? Anybody here? And then amplitude is two, it's very low. Zero, 0 0.8 takes about um, how many seconds to do that? Figure that out. It takes 10 to 100 seconds for one wave to complete itself. It's very calming. But it, in that one wave, in that slow wave, there's something happening to the DNA and RNA of the cell. And it's phenomenal what it does. So I start people on this frequency ranges, even lower. And then I progress them up to higher frequencies, up to 1.14, 2.28. 2.28 is the one that I completely reverse the two, three people with hip degeneration and this was that frequency right there. So it's in that realm of spectrum that is so important. So a lot of us are uh, using high frequencies today. You're around Wi-Fi, cell phones. It's causing uh, free radical damage. It's causing uh, reactive oxygen species. It's causing neuron damage. It's causing permeability to, through, it's opening up the blood brain barrier, allowing toxins to go through. It is the cell membrane, these waveforms that are allowing things to go through. It's the exchange of nutrients are controlled by what? Electromagnetic fields in our cells. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, and all that. So if you know how to control that, you can heal the body. It's amazing what it does. I have used this with my family. Whenever they get sick or they have a sprain or strain, gone in one or two or three days. I apply this over anywhere. I apply it on my hip, which I do have a hip injury, but it's almost like back to normal. I played professional soccer. I coached three Olympics. I ran in, normal, I ran in college, and I also played seven days a week basketball, and seven days a week I swam, and I also worked out. So I was an overactive guy. Today, I do different things. I learned about core exercise, I learned about cell physiology, and I understand how the NAD works, and my, that over-exercising is not good for you. It is walking, daily exercises, core exercises. So these modalities, and I've, I've taken people with severe depression, anxiety disorder, and put them in frequency ranges that take 100 seconds, to 20 seconds to 30 seconds before one wave completes itself. One sine wave completes itself. You know about this, right? You work with fields like this. And that's the secret. I'm giving you the pattern of life. Everything is in that low. With Jerry Jacobson, if you understand and read his theor theoretical physics uh, uh, brochures and articles that he's published, is amazing. And I think we're gonna see more uh, uh, fields of light energy. I think infrared, red light, orange light are the important. One of the things I just even tell you to do today, go to Home, uh, uh, Home Depot Orchard Supply and get yourself a, a clear bulb uh, uh, infrared heat lamp. You know about those. Heat lamp, clear, not red. Buy one of them for like seven, eight dollars, 125 watt. Get an aluminum stand that plugs into anything, and every day take five to 10 minutes, expose it on your face and body in the morning and in the evening. You are healing yourself with photon energy. The simplest thing you can do today, because we don't get enough sunlight, we're bombarded by uh, uh, man-made light, unless you have full spectrum lighting, which gives us the orange, red, and the infrared spectrum, we're not getting light. And we're not getting melatonin production, we're not getting vitamin D production, and we're not getting other things that we need. It's so important. And the mitochondria works on the orange, red, and infrared spectrum. And that's all you have to do. Get a simple 
For $20, $30, you have a complete healing center. Open up studios everywhere. Charge $15 to $25 for healing sessions and then do ozone rectally and you, <laughs> you cured everybody. No, someday I'll talk about ozone and how it really works. But that's another thing. Okay, another thing you can do, we do a lot, is we, when I was in practice, we'd use the same technology, but this covers a, takes 20 minutes to cover. We use copper coils, you sit there, and whatever is wrong with you, my God, it's gone. And people feel better. Now let me share what's going on today in medicine. You wanna know what's going on in medicine besides NASA knowing how to use infrared? Look up Novacure. How many know about Novacure? N-O-V-O-C-U-R-E. It's an Israeli technology developed that is treating cancer today. It first went into, it came out of Israel, came into Toronto. Now they got clinic, clinical studies done in certain <laughs> universities. And it's basically using what Wright started. But they're using electrical components. Are they gonna get results? I don't know if they're gonna sufficiently get the right results because I don't think we're, I think the human body needs magnetic as well as light. But they're getting some of the results. So it's called Novacure. Another guy that I had a very good conversation, his name is Boris Pash. Look him up, P-A-C-H-E. He was the head oncologist at, guess where? U University of Alabama. He then became the head oncologist at Wake Forest. And he is using certain parameters of frequencies at the very low end of the field, below what even cell phones are covering. You know, below this, below around 0.2, uh, 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 you know, watts per kilogram. And he's the, his device is, I had a lot of time to spend with him because he understood what I did and he was interested in some of the work we did at UCLA and what I'm doing. And the place you put, uh, you put in your mouth, an application, and they're treating cancer, and that's how they're going to uh, go after cancer. And, and it's very interesting how they're, uh, Boris Pash and Novacure are looking at electrical devices, magnetic devices, for treating cancer and not chemo or radiation or other invasive ways. And this device, you pack up in your back and you have to use it for 10, 12 hours a day. Now, we had a guy, and I'll share with you one thing I did. Or we, we need to yeah, one more. One of, I get calls every day from all over the world. And one of the calls I got, I can't say who it is, out of Chicago. They, you know, I, I put them on a program with nutrition and diet and some things, we discovered some new nutritional things that I can't share today, but I will in about a month. We're finishing the data on cancer and something else and inflammation. We found a molecule that will knock out inflammation totally. And I can't give you that because they're going through the patents at the university and all that. But this gentleman owned 7,000 buildings in Chicago. And he was dying of, of colon cancer and lung cancer. I send them a, a unit of this. I wrap the, I, I send them the coils and I send them special uh, socks that are electrical socks that we, uh, we, we were, have made for us. Had them use the right frequencies. I, I found out what he needed. He totally recovered and he lived another two to four years until he went to Mexico and did IPT and chemo and all that. He totally recovered. He was working, developing new franchises all over the world. And I had many people like that. The woman that referred me is an osteopath. Her name is Jan Iwater. And her mother and father, mother has uh, uh, breast cancer, father has uh, prostate and lung cancer. They're still alive today. They're uh, Japanese uh, descent from, Oklahoma, uh, from uh, Hawaii. And they are doing frequencies also. And they're still alive today. Again, I. It's, it's the realm of frequencies and understanding the right thing. Anybody have any questions before I uh, pack up and go home? Yeah, we're gonna take a 10 minute break real quick here, so you can swarm uh, Burn and ask no, no, any you questions personally. Well, some of the questions. If you wanna stay here, and you wanna go out and take 10 minutes, go, and I'll answer a couple questions, quick there you questions. Go. I just need to check on that lamp that you recommended. Is that infrared? Yeah, yeah, it's a heat lamp. They call heat lamps. And 
They use it in restaurants, but get the clear one. There's a red and clear. Get that one. And it's infrared. Yeah? Is it infrared? They're red and they're clear. They have the clear one. The red ones they use a lot in restaurants. You want the full spectrum. The red one only gives you the red spectrum. The clear one gives you the orange, red, and infrared spectrum. Yeah. Uh, what kind of waves are you working with? Square, sine, triangulars? I find always that sine wave is the beneficial wave for the body. Smoother. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Yeah, just another question. On, um, you recommended five to ten minutes twice a day of the heat lamp. I'm just wondering if going outside in the sunlight is the same effect? For five yeah, yeah, days? yeah, you do. You get the same effect. As a matter of fact, you know about stargazing and star day, uh, you know, uh, where you get up in the first thing in the morning, you look directly into the sun as the sun rises, and then at night when you do that, yeah. And then between 12 and 2 is where the production of vitamin D is the greatest. But if you'll get the production of vitamin D just by having that light on you, too, because you, you're getting the right form of light. And then just one more thing, I've seen a lot of tanning salons are starting to The red light therapy beds? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know if they're at the right frequency or... That's the, or that's a question. You, I would have to know, understand the frequencies and uh, what red light. There's 610, 620, 630, 650. Um, you know, uh, and again, you don't want to overstimulate the body because it shuts off and it reverses its polarity. So you need to know how much to take. So just being on something like that all day is not good for you. Right. You know? It's like magnetics. You don't want to be on magnetic fields too long either. Okay, last question. Okay, last question and then... Uh, could you just spell uh, Jen uh, Iwata's... I-W-A-T-A. -A, I think Iwata. Look her up. She's in Chicago. She's an osteopath. All right. Awesome, thank you. Taking my goodies home. Okay. Let's get burned around.